Oh, hello, and welcome Hi. to the College Humor Podcast. Uh, if you're watching this on Dropout, we love you. <laughs> we yeah. love you so much. Um, you. And if you're watching this on uh, our CH2 YouTube channel, um, you can catch us on Dropout like uh, mm -hmm. earlier. Two weeks earlier. Two yeah. whole weeks earlier. Oh, Maybe baby. they could you could catch it before we even make the podcast episode. Just see, hearing our <laughs> flittering thoughts in our brain. Um, I'm your host for today. I'm Tao Yang. I'm a cast member here. And why don't we just go down the line and intro sure. ourselves. My name is Janie Stoller, and I'm a branded writer. I'm super excited to be here today. Mm. Uh, my name is uh, Frankie McLafferty. I'm a producer, and I feel great. <laughs> I'm ready to do this. Yeah, you are. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is Katie Maravich. I'm also a cast member. Wow, 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 wow. Um, so how's everyone doing? How's everyone doing this this week? I mean, Katie's doing iconically this haircut. Is to yes. die yes. for. Can we talk about it? I would love to talk about it. Um, is this a lob? Yeah. This is actually, so my hair has already grown a lot. <laughs> <laughs> my hair grows, so I'm a big, um, I'm a big cereal consumer, and I, um, and as such, I drink a lot of milk, not on purpose. You, you but think the milk helps your hair milk, grow strong? Well, mm -hmm. I'm telling it, but yeah, so what happens is I eat a lot of cereal, drink a lot of milk, just because I'm eating the cereal, and then it, it causes my nails and my hair to grow very quickly. So this is actually several inches, I got it cut last week, several inches longer now. Oh my god. Wow. I, really need a, I need a trim, my bangs need to be trimmed. Freaking Rapunzel over wow. here. I am. Nice. I truly really am. Yeah. It's wild how much I shed, too. Yeah. <laughs> and all is over. it also the milk? Cause that's the milk. Yeah. No, that's the lupus. I, I also oh, have an autoimmune lupus, disorder. Either or, so. yeah. Wow. You couldn't cut um, your hair because of uh, of King and Katie, right? Like shooting, that's right. Shooting Janie's shooting show. Yeah. 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 So yeah. if you guys don't know, check it out on Dropout. King and Katie is about me. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Katie came up with the title. I did. Yes. Yes. And then I wasn't allowed to be in it. And I wasn't allowed to cut my hair during it. You have a couple cameras. Cameos, right? A couple um, of long, one. I think one. One. Yeah. One long. Yeah. We didn't even have like generators or anything. It was the energy of your hair is what powered the set. Yes. So mm -hmm. it was like really nice camaraderie on set. We had a great shoot. Oh wow! Yeah. You did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How's it like being in every single scene? It was exhausting. I bet. Yeah. 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 Seems like yeah. it. <laughs> Seems like but it would rewarding be. at the mm -hmm. end. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. How's let's hear it for Janie. Yeah. Let's hear it for Janie. Right, you guys. It's honestly. It, it looks great. Everyone who worked on it is awesome. Awesome. So just excited for my brand. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Uh, oh, how is everyone doing this week? Oh God. <laughs> I was afraid I think you you'd ask go. that. I think you should. I actually had nothing, but I would like to hear from Frankie. But that's so funny because we were just talking before the <laughs> podcast about how people do that, and then are like, "No, I don't want to tell you that." <laughs> no, I, I, that's true. But I, I truly didn't. That's my normal reaction. I didn't have a story. I didn't have a follow-up. How are you doing? Oh God. Okay, so oh. Katie's normal. <laughs> yeah, Katie's doing, Katie's very doing well. great. Yeah. Frankie? Um, Frankie? I'm. I also don't want to talk about it. Um, <laughs> It's you guys wouldn't understand, and no one wants to hear this. Okay, I don't. Yeah, yeah, sure. Will you, will you DM us later? I will DM you later. Okay, great, 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 great. Cheney, anything, or is it? Like, um, huh. Well, okay. Oh my god. Do you want to? No, it's fine. Do you want to? Oh, tail. Oh. tail. Me, I'm an open book. You know how? Uh, <laughs> you know how sometimes you feel like you're in, like in a dream. Yeah. That's what mm. I kind of feel like right now. You feel I feel like, like in a dream. I feel like I'm in a dream. Do like, you feel dizzy? Not dizzy. I just mm. feel okay. like it's just like when you're like kind of tired, but you're also like also energetic. And it's yes. and it's mm. like I feel like I'm in uh, a, a walking dream kind of thing. Mm. Yes. Interesting. Yeah. That's how I feel. I'm on um, a, a bunch of antidepressants, um, and I feel exactly the same way. Mm. Interesting. I feel yeah. like yeah. I'm always, you know, in a little cloud. Yeah. Mm. But I don't I, hate it. Whoa. I often <laughs> feel like nice. <laughs> I feel nice. like I'm in a nightmare often. Um, you should do you what guys I are in do. dreams. I mean, yes, actually, Whoa. yeah. We should switch. This just reminded me that I think I had a dream about college humor last night. Maybe that's why you think you're in the dream Maybe. because yes. you dream about yes. work. You talked about this. Do you guys ever dream about work? It's like kind of a. It's Constantly. always no matter what the content of the dream is. I always wake up I'm like, oh, why am I dreaming about work? This sucks. Yeah, it's sort it's, of like, oh my god, my life is so boring. Yes, yeah. I think I, I think my dream was, I was sitting in at my desk and someone gave me a chocolate. Might have been you, Katie. I don't know. Oh, I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> like a big piece of chocolate. And then uh -huh. uh, Trap was in my dream and was like, hey, do you want to split it? And I was like, yeah, of course. I'll, <laughs> I'll split it with you. And instead of ripping the chocolate in half, I bit it in half. <laughs> 
happened. And he got really mad at me for it. You know what that means. What does it mean, Janie? You're about to fall into a lot of money. Yes. That's what that means. Anytime you drink about chocolate and biting chocolate, money. A mundane dream where you bite chocolate means you're about to be very wealthy. Whoa. And do you think it comes from a raise or something? As Trap is my boss. Yes. (laughs) Yes. Because you're sharing it with him. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Profound. Wow. Mm-hmm. Profound. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. I hope it's a lot. <laughs> I hope it's a lot, too. This is my way of asking for a raise. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I yeah. think I deserve one. I just yes. started at this Ooh. job. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone come and say, You've been here for how many months now? I've been here for, I think, uh, five months. Five months? Yeah. Raise time. It raise, is raise time. time. So. Comment, in time. The, comment below if you think I should deserve a With raise. With how much money he should get. Yes. 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 Comment below. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Comment below how much money you think I should get and then what percent you think that is of my salary. <laughs> A hundred thousand dollars on a ten percent bump. I love it. We should all be able to vote on how much money everybody makes and who yes. gets to be famous. Who? What Every a beautiful year. idea! Thank you so much. Every year we should be able to renew famous contracts. Ooh. Like if you're done with someone, yes, you're like, yes. we don't want to see him anymore. But I'm you know who would person. be fun to see? Let's try them out. Yes. Also, this yes. CEO should make this much money, mm-hmm. and this janitor should make. That's my money. Yes. Interesting. Thank you. Let me ask you, who, if that were to come around right now, who would you yeah. vote, you know, uh, who would you vote to no longer be famous? <gasps> and who would you like to Fantastic vote? Fantastic question. This Thank you so much. They've so had nervous. their time. They've made their money. Every single Kardashian and offshoot. We, mm, I am so... Mm. Done. Mm. Thank you so much. Thank you. I am yeah. so sick of them. As someone who follows pop culture reality TV, we mm-hmm. all do. We all, we it's all. like... Yes. They're being forced down my throat, and I've refused yes. every second to care, and I still know too much about them. You know, I'm going to say mm-hmm. it's almost like the Electoral College. We're like, I didn't vote for this. Yes. yes. Thank you. I would yeah. say yeah. the you know the media that like is that they pay to get their stories in the press yes. is the Electoral yes. College, and they have too much power, right. and we, the yeah. people, mm-hmm. are done. I don't think we're alone in that. Yes. I no, no, I think, we're I think probably most people feel that way. Yes. I but do. who should be famous? Who yes. Should, not? Who's not? Yes. Female athletes. Oh, absolutely. Yes. 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 Oh, my God. <laughs> 100 the and like people who do players? nice things yeah ah, you know like teachers teachers should be oh, you teachers know, you never see someone Absolutely. go viral being like I did something really nice and like <laughs> I mean I guess maybe sometimes you do I know actually, but it's I always a it. very sad yeah. story just kind of like yeah. Rika's sketch about this where yeah. it's like the teacher that you know gave her kids like school supplies because they didn't have it and it's yeah. like oh my god yeah. why aren't the kids oh, yes. able to yeah. have the yes. school supplies that person should be famous yeah. and yes. should make a lot of money I yes. agree I agree. Yes, Comment like, below if you agree. Comment below with who should be famous. <laughs> like tag your friends, etc. Yeah. 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 Do you guys have any friends who should be famous? Do you have any like, friends? Who no. should be? <laughs> no, you don't. I have You're one all friend. losers. <laughs> I don't have any friends. You have Jenny. You have a friend. Who? Katie. <laughs> yeah. Katie, is this true? I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I, don't put me on the spot like don't, this. Don't, don't make this awkward. Okay. okay? Well, Jesus. Me, Frankie. Are we? Do you want? Do you want to be friends? Are we good? I think we're good. Okay, great, great. We're, we're, friends, friends. Friends. we're good. All right, I have one too. I, I still yeah. don't want to comment. No, it's fine. Okay, okay. great. Right. Right. I have two. Zero to two in in, in a second. This yeah. has been the that best five minutes of my life. <laughs> yeah, we get to be famous friends or friends who should be famous. <laughs> oof. 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 You know what? No. They're all being asked the same question. They're all just no. saying Katie. Well, that's Not a thing. single one of them no. deserves it. <laughs> I find it rude when people I know get famous and they didn't ask me if I wanted it. Yes. Yeah. I think it yeah. is rude Terrible. and I think oh, those yes. people suck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's my whole thing. Wow. Don't get famous all, without my permission. You two are famous. No. No. Yes. Um, no. 14 yes. year old boys know who I am. Yes. Fame <laughs> is fame is fame is fame. <laughs> Um, Enjoy it. My my, hus- it. my husband recently said that um, people are not recognizing me um, <laughs> as much Wait, as they was, used to. What was the context of that statement? The context was he brought up, like, you're not getting recognized much anymore. And then I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. Um, That's nice. Yeah, it made me feel good, and I, I uh, don't think about it constantly. You know who would be a fun group to be famous to is, yes. like, older women who don't use yes. the internet? Yes. yes. You know, yes. and oh my they're God. like respectful so, of your boundaries and they'll love yeah, what you do, yeah. but they're not going to be like mad at you all the time. Mm-hmm. Yes. And they'll defend you to their friends yeah. if something were to come up. I, I love that. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Like Ina Garten. Is it oh. Ina? Ina. 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 Ina Garten. She's Ina. wonderful. She's wonderful. Yeah. She is famous. Didn't she do She's something famous. bad a few years ago? <gasps> uh oh. There was like, you did. This is, this is not, I don't know if legally I can 
legally share it. Um, <laughs> You're saying things but, that no, are not she, necessarily true. They're just thinking out loud. That it's I think no, it's not liable. There was yeah. like it was something really bad where there was like a kid with cancer who wanted to meet her and she like would not meet them. Mm. You know, I could be wrong. She was making a roast. Busy. Sometimes yes. we're busy. Sometimes and we're it's like, busy. Yeah. Sometimes we don't we, have time. I mean, for make children. time if you can. And that kid right. could have been an asshole, and she just didn't honestly them. probably was an asshole. Yeah. That's again yeah. my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Also, I mean, like, who wants to meet Ina Gardner? Like, <laughs> I don't know. Funny. I would meet her. I would love to meet <laughs> what her. You, what, I I don't know. This might be the first one. I I know I went out of way to say like I think it's Ina, but I truly this might be the first I've ever heard of this person. Really? What? Yes. She's incredible. The barefoot oh, Contessa? Yes. She was very wealthy and like cool and mm-hmm. started uh, a store uh-huh. and then it was it was like a food store and uh-huh. then she became a cookbook writer and then a TV oh, cool. chef and yes. she and her husband yes. Jeffrey have like this amazing oh, lifestyle. Jeffrey. They're just in love, love and they eat great food. Life. He's yeah. like very big in the banking world. Like he's really rich and stuff. Yes. Yeah. So they have a really nice life cool and he's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like chill. He's chill about yeah. it. Okay. They, and they, you can find this person on like Instagram or something? No, she has Food Network shows, cookbooks. Yeah. She's very popular. Oh. The barefoot oh. Contessa. See, I've heard that before, and I've always never really. I've just always pretended to know, like, I knew what that was. She has oh, great oh recipes, yeah. and on yeah. her show, she's always like, "It's okay if you use some store bought stuff." Like, she's mm-hmm. chill. Oh, yeah. Yeah. that is yeah. very chill. That's she very has nice. friends over. Mm-hmm. She like lives in the Hamptons mm-hmm. and has friends over. She's fun. Yeah, uh, she's she has she's friends. Great. I great. like practical cook celebrity chefs who are yeah. like giving you practical yes, advice totally mm-hmm. obviously I know you ain't got time do this instead <laughs> yeah yes. I don't have a sous vide machine no. no I've always wanted one though I mean yeah. you what should is that? get one it it's cooks. a sous vide machine yeah it's Should like I a, know it's like a no no, it's no no it's like a <laughs> stick I just found that actually okay. it's like a stick you put in a pot of water and then you like seal like meats and stuff mm-hmm. and then it just cooks like really well really well mm. you do it for like a really long time Okay. All right. Great. Should now I know. Split one. You want to go have these on one? Yeah. The sous vide Share custody. Let's do it. Yes. Every let's Wednesday, do it. hand off the sous vide yes. machine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh. Should we do the game? I think we should do we the should game. Do. Let's do the game. The game. Me, That's a great idea. Oh, reach in there. Don't uh. mess it up. You know what? I'll help you. Thank you. Okay. I done this in a better way. I'm just... Oh wow! There's a lot of props Oof. to this game. Oof. There are props. Everyone okay. Take one. Uh, no one look at this. this okay. Ooh, I like this. I like these erasers. Marker. Marker. Thank you. Marker. Uh, board. Oh, board. board. Okay. Thank you. Board. board. Thank you. So okay. this game is called board. Order History. Yes. <laughs> and we just pass things out. Okay. So this game is called Order History. And we are to, there's like a list of things here that it's like they, it's like there's a number for each of these things that they, like these facts, yes. like number of active volcanoes in Australia. And we're supposed to order them from Smallest to biggest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, thank you. And um, whoever gets the most right wins. Smallest. And we just yes. and we just put them. One, we two, put the numbers three, four, five, on the side five, right here. Okay, great. Right? Should we read these out loud for the listener? Yes, we, yes, we yeah. should. And talk yeah. through yeah. some yeah. of our thoughts talk because sure. this is going to be we're all like actively. You know, no one wins. We're working yes. together. You know. I but think I, this is. But a if I do win, I will. Yeah. And if I lose, I will be. Um, I will Marie, pout for the rest of this. Are there any prizes? Yes. Okay. okay. Excellent. All right. Okay. Ooh. So okay. Three of us will lose our jobs. Oh, shit. Three of okay. us will lose our jobs. Right. One of us will keep the job. <laughs> That's okay. I'm a cat. I land on my feet. I don't. I have no other skills, so I'm die. fucked. We all have the same ones in the same order, right? Yes. yes. Okay. okay. Cool. We'll just go down. We can, yeah. Let's go yeah, down yeah, yeah. the list. Yeah. Uh, I, I'll read the first one. Okay. Thank you. The percentage of cultures around the world that engage in romantic and or sexual kissing. According to research published in American Anthropologist. How could there be any that don't? Um, There's some that just have sex with no kissing? <laughs> like if you're going to yes. procreate, assuming Holy. these cultures Holy. are moving forward, they I just have like kisses. I don't know, but find me there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know Teo, he loves everything but kissing. <laughs> I love it all. I'm going to just put this at like a... Wait, a, don't rank it yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm not going to rank it. I'm just going to get... I'm going to say what give I sense. think the number okay. is. I think it's yeah. zero. Okay. Based on a 2014 survey in the UK, the percentage of people who would have sex with a robot or android... <laughs> How many percent? men are there yet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Five, Five billion. billion. Yeah. Would you? Would any of you have sex with a robot? If would anyone find like out me? about it later? <laughs> no. Would you say if it looked like you? <laughs> if it looked like you? I did say that. <laughs> if it looked like me, yes. I don't think I. I robot, no. Android, yes. <laughs> Androids are supposed to look like people. <laughs> I don't think I would. Really? No one would find out. 
And this is also the UK, so keep that yeah. in mind. Yeah. Those they, freaks over there. Oh, yeah, they're freaks. Yeah. Okay, next one. According to the University of Scranton, the percentage of people who actually achieve their New Year's goals. Oh my God, like none. Fuck none that. of them. Yeah. They were like, I'm gonna lose 3,000 pounds. <laughs> actually, I, my, my New Year's resolution was to read one book this year, and I did it. Yay! You did it, what was the book? What was the book? The book? the book was Bad Rabbi, of course. It was about <laughs> Judaism. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. I love that. What's the plot? I'm sorry, but sorry to rebel. What's the plot of Bad Rabbi? Is it Rabbi? a novel? Why or is, is it bad? a memoir? Uh, it's sto- it's story about um, things who have been <laughs> forgotten in history. Oh, that sounds great. great. It is, yeah. They should be famous. Fantastic. They should be, and it's really sad. Uh, a lot of them just end up, well, Obviously, yep. Jewish why, stories. Why is it sad. called Bad Rabbi? Um, that was... Um, one of the stories is about a, a rabbi who moved to America and got married and had a whole family back in Poland and mm. then moved back to Poland and then she followed. And it was just like, it's a good story. Uh, oh, okay. I'm going to read this book. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. It sounds good. Um... I'm gonna say this is like a 30 percent. New Wait, are we supposed to guess the number? No, 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 no. He's no. just working okay. just as working we go, but I'm gonna fun, go right? back after. Okay. And we rank them from smallest to biggest. To biggest. biggest. And I definitely. I don't understand right. what yes. that okay. means. And, and okay. s- since it's a percentage, it'd just be like 30% is like 30. Right? But here's the thing, yeah, because some are percentages and, and some, some are numbers. numbers. Now, this is the part where we can talk about units. <laughs> 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 Got the digit. Thank digit. you, Marie. Thank you, Marie. Okay. Marie works here. It's Is Katie amazing. with the next You know one? what? It's my yes. turn, and I'm about yes. to do it. Um, the number of active volcanoes in Australia. Hmm. I have no idea. I have no idea. Could be one, it, it could be 70. If it said Iceland, I'd say a lot. Oh, yeah. yeah they have a lot. Australia is also kind of just a wasteland. Yes, it's garbage. We so don't like, like the people there. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> um, but so Hi. who knows? Okay. The percentage of Americans who believe a Blu-ray <laughs> is a marine <laughs> animal, according to a 2014 survey by Voucher Cloud. Honestly, I only get my surveys from Voucher Cloud. Yeah. <laughs> when I when it comes to the next election, you know where I'm going. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. The number of people in the world who share your birthday. Oh, that's oh, fascinating. Fuck. Wouldn't it be one three sixty fifth of the population somewhat like yes because in theory mm. there's days there's so many no, weird days like, wouldn't it be because no. everyone has sex on um yes. new yes. year's and valentine's day mm. there's like babies nine yes. months yes. later mm-hmm. uh, there there is th- some dates are going to be more popular yeah. yeah you guys know that thing that's like um it's like a little fun little statistics thing where if you're in a room of more than like 23 people there's like a over 50 percent chance that someone will share your birthday no yeah, yeah. because some days are so popular it's it's like some days are so popular and like there's like a math thing involved yeah. in you know now that it's also more common because there's more c-sections so they schedule them so it's based uh, on when doctors want to work like they're not having babies whoa. on the weekends anymore oh, shit. holy oh, cow whoa isn't that interesting that is really weekday interesting weekday babies weekday babies babies i'm gonna say <laughs> okay yeah <laughs> <laughs> You're next. <laughs> oh, Is it me? Or I just went. Oh, oh just I'm went. so sorry. sorry. I blacked out. <clears throat> the number of eggs an average chicken lays in a year. Oh, my God. Mm, well, gosh. is it in a factory farm? Oh, thank Good you. Q. Um, thank a you. billion. So yeah. Yeah. The average yeah. chicken. So the average Non-stop. chicken, I think, probably is in a factory farm. Like a chicken farm. out in the wild? Mm. Are like if I left chicken. a chicken to its own devices... Are, does that exist? How does the egg... Um, this is, uh, you know what? I'll look it up later. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> no, no, no. What do you mean? How does the egg. little egg get out? <laughs> you, push, you push real hard. Well, my question is little chickens. Is it their period? <laughs> so you know how you ovulate? You lose yes. an egg all the time. Yes. And if it's fertilized, it implants. For egg-laying animals, it, yes. they lay the eggs, and then if it's fertilized, it's going to end up a chicken. But if it's not fertilized... It'll just be an egg. So normally... Did you say period? <laughs> you know when you get your period? So basically, <laughs> if what they do is they have them lay eggs, and yeah. they don't have them mate. Like, they just have them... So that's why we get to eat their little eggs. Yes. <laughs> so essentially, we we could do this. We do lay eggs, yes. Mm-hmm. But and we can eat them if they're not fertilized. They're microscopic, one. Yeah. Yes. You, um, could, so you could, you could, but it's just not very good. It's not a good breakfast. I don't breakfast. think you could find it's it. It's not a full breakfast. It's not a full I breakfast. See. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, oh no, it's well, not a full breakfast. Wouldn't ha- like another, another animal have to eat the eggs? Because like, chickens don't eat their eggs, right? No, that'd be so rude. <laughs> but if you put scrambled eggs in front of a chicken, it's going to eat it. Oh, for a sure. A chicken would eat yeah. your eggs, I think. That's true. So, we're talking trade. about something so small. You we are talking about a tiny yes. egg. I do, I do know okay. this. 
I'd mm-hmm. be able to see it. I have very good eyesight. Um, anyway, the percentage of MPAA rated movies that have been rated R since its rating system began 50 years 50 ago. 50 years oh my God. ago. So a lot. That's a small, that's a, a lot. Small, yeah. I saw What's a documentary percentage? about that. I did too. Did you see what I saw, which we shouldn't say out loud? <laughs> <laughs> you can DM about it. Did you DM about it? Yeah. Okay, good. I'm All not right. sure. This one, the number of muscles yes. a caterpillar has we saw on the same thing. Sorry. average. A caterpillar's oh, muscles. Man, muscles. Oh, oh. Yeah. not going to be a lot. Little, That's I bet it's like one. Yeah, it's like they have yeah. one big muscle. They're very sinewy. Oof. Yeah. They but are. also, do they have a muscle in every leg? Well, they have to do this thing, right? That takes yeah. to do the worm. That's like, yes. that's the like caterpillar. That's, that's low. That's yeah. low. That's true. Okay, the um. number of people who die each year in the U.S. from choking on pen caps. <laughs> I hope not a lot. Oh, that's yeah. a sad one. Here's the thing. We use our computers more than ever before. Thank you. Brave. Have so, you ever had a pen cap yeah. in your mouth that far, though? No. I, I mean, what do you, wait, how far? <laughs> to choke on it. I definitely have put an entire pen cap in my mouth. Multiple. The germs on oh. that thing. I know. I, I, yeah, I, I agree with you. Might as well lick a toilet, call it a day. Yeah, lick a toilet, <laughs> call it a day. I don't think that's equivalent. It's exactly it the same. Yeah, there's more germs on a dinner plate in a restaurant than there are on a toilet seat. Yeah, I'll lick mm-hmm. a dinner plate all day, though. Toilet seats, it's just your butt is touching it's it. It's butt to butt. Your yeah. butt. Until sometimes you go in a what women's you... restroom and you're like, how Someone did got this their period. <laughs> what about when you flush? Somebody got their period right out of this toilet period. seat. I would pay you money to just say period. <laughs> period. To my face every, uh, every, every my morning. Life. Yes. <laughs> it's so funny because we're from the same place. And no. it's like, <laughs> how did I get this? I came how did I get this accent? <laughs> My sister's the same. She says Halloween. Yes. And I'm like, where did you get that? We grew up in the same house. I said Wisconsin um, <laughs> recently on Sunday, and everyone, I said it's so, so Chicago <laughs> that everyone was like, what? <laughs> Every once in a while it comes out, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. <laughs> um, what's everyone's like one and ten? Oh, Ooh, dang. Good question. Like their smallest and your biggest. I think smallest for me is. I, and maybe kissing culture. Non-kissing culture. Kissing cult, non-kissing cultures. Yeah, I feel like it's zero. Uh, I'm gonna say the number of movies that have been rated R. I'm also on on rated R movies. Yes, because there's like most movies are like PG-13. Yes, and, and I below. think people want them to be PG-13 yes. so more people can go see them. Mm-hmm. Well, ugh. Katie, what's your industry? We know one. something you guys don't know about that. Janie oh. and I, we've seen a movie. We've seen a movie. Wow. If only I, I knew the title. Have, but it seems like you guys haven't. It seems like you haven't seen a movie. Um, <laughs> my 10 is, I think number of people share your birthday in the world. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot yeah, of people. We're talking like potentially billions. Let's my see. 10 is the percentage of people who would have sex with a robot. Wow. <laughs> it, it's, uh, it's a million percent. It's yes. A tr- <laughs> it is, you know. Uh, um, I, you know what? These are always hard. My brain doesn't quite work in this way. So smallest. <laughs> To biggest. Well, yeah. What are some of the smaller ones? Like uh, I the think number of eggs a chicken lays compared to like the number. I mean, active volcano is probably on the smaller end. Ooh, but yeah. maybe, maybe the uh, active volcano one is like a, a trick. Yeah, it's like it's like zero. Yes. You know? Yes. It yes. Could be. Could be That's zero. one. Actually, I'm yeah. It. I'm gonna make that my one. Because when's the last time yeah. you heard about a volcano in um, Australia, like a big deal thing? Mm. You know, I don't. I, I don't heard. hear about it. So I'm gonna put that low. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. That's my two. one. My two is now the rated R. Um, I say number of eggs. Yes. Because that's just, okay. I like well, like, I don't know. They do two or three at a time, right? In the factory, really? in the factory farms, uh, they're the pumping them out labor. nuts. Yeah. Like, they're pumping out like 30 a day or more. Oh, uh, that's true. Chickens are making 30 they're eggs a day in a factory? They're pumping them full of stero- steroids oh so that they uh, just uh, produce, produce, produce. And it's stop really that as a it's bad. It's really, it's really scary. Everything else is a percentage, so... And then the muscles, I actually think, could be high. Because those little, those little buggers got a lot of muscles. I think the Blu-ray... Yeah, Blu-ray. Here's the thing about our technology. No, here's the thing about our <laughs> society. Society. Fuck. We're obsessed with technology. <laughs> it's true. And I'm obsessed with Voucher Cloud. Okay, the mm-hmm. number of, hmm, okay, peop- the percentage of people who actually achieve New Year's goals, we think that is like 20%. I think it's 30. It's 30? Mm-hmm. Okay. Who uh. achieve their goals? Yeah. yeah. I think, yeah. So then that's somewhat. But, but also people lie, you know? People do I lie. I oh, also. you're done. Okay, I'll keep, I'll get moving okay, here. Okay, wait, hold on. Let's I, see. Mm. I I think my I don't as I I'll repeat it. I don't I don't, I don't think my brain three. works in this style. Right, I get you. What's your ten, Katie? My ten is um. So that's the the most. Most the hot okay. the biggest number. A number of people in the world who share your birthday. 
Is that right? That's, that's I think that is correct. And I'll be shocked if it's wrong. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Am I missing one? Oh, one, wait. Two, I think, oh, three, shoot. Four. Oh, I have two fours. I screwed oh. up bad. Oh, God. Do 4.5. Okay. Mm-hmm. Percentage of people actually achieve their goals. Oh, five. No. Percentage Wait. of people who the robot is high. Let's be honest. There's high. nothing better than riding with a dry race. Mark. Isn't it, it feels the best quite feeling? Good. It feels okay. very good. I hope good. after this we have time to just draw. Ugh, what a dream. That would be fun. Okay. I have mine, I think. One, two. What do you think uh, a culture without kissing would be like? That was my number two. Maybe it's, it's like. Small. Yeah, no kissing ever. Okay, yeah. I did. I did the way some my world runs. creative decision making. All right, let's. All right. let's shall we do go them. over right. the, the answers. answers? Let's go over the answers. Do you need help? Reach. Okay. <clears throat> All right, number one. Active volcanoes in Australia. <gasps> yeah! Yeah. Yes. Does it say the number or no? It's zero. I have zero. Guys. Yeah. Interesting. yeah. We did it. Okay, so I'm gonna. The girl, Katie. That's what I. I'm keeping say track. To of <laughs> Good. Girl. Uh, number two, percentage of people who achieve their New Year's goals, and it's Fuck. no, I didn't have that eight. Eight percent. Eight percent. Number three, percentage of Americans who think Blu-ray is a marine animal. You didn't get that well, one either. Me either. And oh, it's I eighteen. Put, I put two. Eighteen percent. Eighteen yes. percent. Number four. Percentage of people who would who would have sex with a robot. Ooh, I put seven. I, I put that eight. Ten. <laughs> What's the number there? It's twenty percent. Huh? I thought it was that's good. It? One out of five. Mm-hmm. Ain't bad. That's. I like those odds. Five yep. people in this room, and one of us wants to have sex with a robot. Ah, oh, that's me. <laughs> oh, me too. Actually. One of the five of them with me. Yeah. Um, I, I think we'd probably. I think everyone's represent. lying. I think more people. I do I think, think that's given true. the opportunity to. If I was given a hot robot. What does the robot yeah. look like? Whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> I think the more metallic, the better. <laughs> You wouldn't have sex with Bicentennial Man when he's still a robot. Yes. Here's Robin my Williams. thing. I'm not trying to move toward robotic sex. I'm trying to move yeah. away from it. Really? Yeah. You know really? what I mean? The more robotic, the better. I, dis- <laughs> I, yeah. I disagree. Yeah. 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 I like order. Okay. <laughs> I like order. I like something I know what to expect. Okay. Um, percentage of world cultures that kiss. This is the next one. <gasps> and what is it? What is it? It's forty six percent. What? That is a lie. That's one, two, three. Oh, that's number five. I don't know why I read this. Forty six percent? So that's forty four fifty four percent that don't? Mm-hmm. Wait, most cultures don't kiss? Yeah. That's not true. I'm we gotta look into this. All right, yeah. this is bullshit. Okay, Who we're gonna come back around. Two exclamation marks after that. So we, it sounds like maybe Marie it's was factorial, also factorial. We gotta come back. Yeah. I okay, well, we're going to bring wow, this, up with this up. This is a wild thing. Yeah. Okay, the next one, number six. Percentage of movies that have been rated R. No, I put eight. Okay. Son of a two. That out. was 58%. 58%? So we watched this documentary crazy. where the, this MPAA is just like making everything R. And I think the female pleasure oh, rated this R. Is, uh, oh, it, this is not it yet rated? It can be violence. It can be like so many graphic things. But at the oh, second whoops. a woman has an orgasm, it's out the door. Yes, that's true. And anything that's, that's not heterosexual men, like... Truly, all of yes. it gets rated R. Yeah, like a woman it's on top super sexist, or whatever. Super yeah. homophobic. Yeah. <clears throat> Great. <laughs> Next one, number se- seven. Yeah, number of people who die each year from choking on pen caps. Oh, how high is that? It's one hundred. Wow. You know, 100 people That's a lot of people. That's too many people. Imagine if you knew four. someone that died that way. Maybe this podcast will save a life. Don't put a pen cap in your mouth. Don't. Don't. That's too many. Gross. Don't. Just chew it. Chew it like a normal. Without putting yeah. it in your mouth. Uh, number eight. Number of eggs an average chicken lays per year. Whoa. And it's about 300. <gasps> oh, Whoa. I got that one. Holy. Well, like a movie. I only got um, one right. And then number nine, number of muscles a caterpillar has. Mm. Oh, I got that too. And it's 4,000. Oh. Uh, yeah. I thought, it'd, yeah, it'd be like very little or a lot. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's how many do how many do we have like I don't know, that's a good question. like a hundred? I mean, hundred something. I've got at least two. <laughs> your, your feet and your hands have so many muscles. That's there. true. <laughs> I should go. Um, and then last but not least, number of people who share your birthday is yes! about nineteen million. I got, I got two. Right. I got two right. I got baby. three. And we learned something shocking about kissing. Mm-hmm. Wow. Teo, how many did you? I get think right? I got three right. Okay. But I can't really tell. We get to keep our jobs? We get to keep our jobs. Y'all get fired. I'm getting fired. All right. Wow. Let's put this. You know what? 
I think it's time to read my little sketch link. Great. I would love to read your little sketch link. Sorry, I just threw that. Um, so this is, what is the title of the sketch, Katie? Okay, so this is a rejected sketch. Mm. Um, it is called Confusing Headset Phone Call. Um, and I, I'm going to be honest, I still like it. And I, I think love it. Michael Trapp made a huge mistake. <laughs> there have been <clears throat> many times where I've gone through our, like, we have a rejected system. Yes. sketches folder. And we have just rejected sketches. And sometimes if I'm having a bad day, I'll go through and read some from Katie. Aww. Because they like, there are some that have made me cry laughing at my desk, and then it doesn't get great. So Thank you very nice. much. I appreciate it. That's so nice. Yeah. Hopefully, um, I never have to do that with either of you. Hopefully, Because all of yours get laugh. greenlit, yeah. Because they all get greenlit. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was going to say, like, you read mine, and then I go, what is, you go, what is happening what in is these sketches? What the hell is this? Um, all right. All right, I will have, Janie, can you read stage? Yes. Um, <coughs> um, Tao, can you be trap? Ooh. Frankie, can you be Zach? Yes. And I will yes. be... Katie. Wonderful. Confusing headset phone call. Interior office day. Katie and Trap sit at their desks working. Zach enters and walks over to his desk with a fresh mm. coffee. Katie looks directly at him. Where were you? Oh, I didn't go far. I just got some coffee. Katie gestures to her phone and quiets him. Oh, oops. Sorry. Yeah. Next time, try to be on time if it's a client call. Thanks. Talk soon. Katie hangs up her phone. Trap. Yeah. What's up, Katie? Katie motions that she's now talking on a headset. Yes, I can assure you that course of action would certainly be a trap for the company. She mouths a trap on the phone. Oh, sorry. Yes, I can hold. Katie turns to Trap and Zach. Hey, while we're on hold, would, would you guys want to get dinner tonight? We never hang out outside of work. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. Down. What's yeah. Time? One moment. Katie covers her headset mouthpiece with her hand. Stop talking to me. I'm on a crucial business call. Am I the only one who does work around here? Katie uncovers her headset mouthpiece. Great. Yes. Eight works for me tonight, too. Okay. Well, I'm going to hang up now. I'll talk to you guys soon. Katie takes off her headset and turns to Trap and Zach. Okay. I'm off the phone now. Sorry about that. I know that came off a bit unprofessional. Silence. Please, guys. I need to hear that you accept my apology. Fine. Katie looks furious. She covers her computer's <laughs> camera. I hung up the phone call so that I could join the Skype meeting I was late to. I swear to God I'm about to close the most important deal of my life. Don't screw this up for me. She turns back to her computer. Moving right along, I think Japan will be quite happy with the progress we've made. We have our best accountants on the case. What does Katie do again? No idea. Katie's phone rings. She picks it up and closes her computer. Sell! 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 <laughs> she throws down her landline, puts on her headset, and turns to trap. Hey, I saw that your wife was in an accident <laughs> last week. I'm so sorry. I'd love to send her flowers. What's your address? Silence. Hey, I'm, I'm really talking to you this time. She pokes Trap. He hesitates. Really? I'm serious. I know Laura escaped the accident. <laughs> oh, my God. But I want to do something nice for her anyway. She's always been so good to me, and I know I'm not easy to get along with. Uh, uh, okay. She'd appreciate that. It's... 8463 South Vermont. One moment. I am on the fucking phone, you piece of shit. I was talking about Laura, the CFO's wife, who was in a dressage accident. This deal is more valuable than all of your lives. Katie, that's it. You need to disconnect. You're too stressed. I'm fine. I'm fine. No, you're not. You're not handling this well. They pry her phone, headset, and computer out of her hands. There. Now, how do you feel? Honestly, I feel better already. Thank you. Really. Of course, we're here for you. Katie slaps Trump and Zach hard. I am talking to the board of directors through my brain implant, you fucking assholes. This deal means the world to me. <laughs> she takes out her brain implant by ripping a bloody cord out of her head. Zach and Trap scream hysterical. <gasps> oh, Katie dies. And wow. Oh, my God. Oh, Katie. Oh, that's God. hilarious. And that, what was the reason this wasn't made? I don't know. Wow. It's too hard so, to find the bloody uh, cord. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It seems like yeah. an easy one. Maybe yeah. Maybe Trap should be. Maybe Hopefully Let's Trap will in listen here. to this. Let's him defend himself. Yeah. yeah he can it's come so funny. Him. I love the specifics about what the phone calls are, like what your job would be in this world. <laughs> yes. What yes. is my job? What are you doing? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> business. Business. No business, business. 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 It's so funny. It is so funny. Yeah. That's such a funny specific I've noticed with people on the headsets that you're like, oh, look at that person is talking to themselves and you're just like that's, yes. it's not socially acceptable we just no. decided that's okay it's not but it, yes it happens they all the time yeah. I know it really does it's crazy some Apple of my favorite Apple. sketches are when it's a Katie sketch and she it's just like a, we'll just let her go we'll just like <laughs> 
and she has her lines and she knows what she's gonna do and we just like sit back and watch it happen. It's truly uh, perfect every <laughs> it's time. It's beautiful. Thank yeah. you. When she gets I love it. unleashed. Yeah, right? yes. yeah sometimes I, I get a little twisted. They <laughs> let me off my leash and I get to do whatever I want. Well, I'm really sad this never got yeah. made. I am too. Yeah. It could still get made, right? Well, so just because you heard the audio version doesn't mean you yeah. can't get the visual yeah. version. That's a very good Maybe point. Maybe if... I don't know, some commenters or fans, Yes, you know, tweeted anybody? their support. Or, anybody? Uh, anybody? I don't know. It's crazy. I don't know. Just tweet. Yeah. Uh, tweet hashtag uh, Katie Get on Katie the... Katie verified. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Um, cool. Yeah. What's that's, next? Questions? We have questions. Questions. Right. Yeah. We have questions from people on the Discord. Discord. Hey. So if you are a Dropout Ooh. subscriber, one of the very special perks is getting to chat with your cast members and the people behind the scenes at College Humor. Um, so we have questions that were submitted by the incredible audience. We're going to read them now. and Hopefully I don't butcher anyone's names. Yay. Okay. <clears throat> Generally, there are creatives and particular audiences who tend to look down on comedic entertainers trying to do serious work, and then there are those who want serious filmmakers slash actors to pursue such endeavors. How do you keep yourself from being typecast as one or the other? Is there ever a time you wanted to do something about real-world issues but hesitate because of the people who think you should be stuck doing what you've always done? From Al and Lucy. Hmm. For me, personally, I think I do avoid saying political things and just because I feel like oh if I'm I feel dumb and like if I I'll be more likely to be attacked than someone else probably mm -hmm. so I, I think just the fear of like looking dumb has kept me from from being serious online mm -hmm. or, and things <clears throat> totally mm -hmm. there's a level of being very vulnerable when you're yeah. not like mm -hmm. being like jokes 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 and saying something serious and then it's like yeah, being that level of vulnerability, yeah. vulnerable, like, especially now, is like very scary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's funny, mm -hmm. like there are so many entertainers out there and people on Twitter who can just take such serious topics and find the funny and like yeah. find the way. And sometimes mm -hmm. I just get so overwhelmed by how serious or sad or upsetting it is. I'm like, I really wish, I'm just so yeah. blown away when comedians can find the way to do both. Yeah. 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 In terms of acting though, I feel like some of like the best dramatic actors are like comedy first. Mm -hmm. I've heard Absolutely. it's harder to do yeah. comedy than drama. Yes. Yeah. It's I think yeah. Like, I think horror and um, and comedy are more closely tied because mm -hmm. you know there's like that fine line between like laughing and being scared. Um, mm -hmm. But I th I do think those are yeah making someone laugh is difficult. Making someone afraid is also very difficult. Yeah. Yes. But yeah, yeah I, I feel like drama. Not that I'm a, like a real actor. But what but you I, could I do, that, like, what translates is like definitely commitment. I mean, if you yeah. don't take acting comedically mm -hmm. seriously, if you treat it too broad, then it doesn't work. You have to treat yes. it with the same level you would a drama. Mm -hmm. Right, and you have to treat it like very real, yeah. and, mm -hmm. and that is like affecting you emotionally, not mm -hmm. just like I'm uh, like having a, a, a shield of comedy over you. Exactly, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. I think like when we've been in improv classes, the worst mistake is someone coming out and like, trying to be goofy and you're like, that's not going to work. You can't be too thirsty for those laughs. Yeah. 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 It's that's harder true. to make someone cry, laugh than cry. You can make anyone cry. Yes. You can't make everyone laugh. Yes, definitely. <laughs> so yeah. You seem really confident. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go with that. That is what I. That's very good. Choosing to say. Yeah. Yeah. I do worry about being typecast, but I don't think of only doing comedy stuff. <laughs> what is your ideal role, um, like of something that's already Ooh. happened? Yes. Yes. I know immediately. Okay. I want to be the creepy person in a horror movie. Really bad. <gasps> Any specific one? Um. <sighs> I think so hereditary I feel like I would like mm. to that role of like the person who slowly gets more unhinged um, also midsummer like yeah stuff like mm -hmm. that I'm like oh I would love to be in this role like Whoa. starts off very normal and then slowly like you see just like yeah, getting mm -hmm. really creepy and <laughs> that's so funny that'd be great that sounds yeah. really fun that does sound really fun uh, I think I'd like to be uh, like a <laughs> This is gonna sound really stupid, <laughs> like an Adam Sandler type fan child, but who's like with a with an edge of like serious like of like sadness to him would uh -huh. be very fun. Yeah, you can do both. Yeah, yes. you can do uh, both. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Any, any specific Adam Sandler? 
um, cool. like if the movie Big Daddy was slightly more serious. <laughs> That's yeah. fine. Actually. I know yeah, I just yeah. had a comedy role. But I love that. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. What about, about you guys? guys? Yeah. yeah. Well, my my comedic icon, I have many, but Julia Lee Dreyfus, like the role mm. she yes. gets, I'd love to play someone like in Veep, like a really, because mm. she, she is like, mm-hmm. she can play funny and she can play mean, but like the oh, yeah. vulnerable moments, I love those. So something like that I, would be the dream. Has she had a non comedic role? She's been in a couple like sort of softer comedies. Like there's yeah. this one called Enough Said. It's oh, really wow. great. Oh. Um, and she's had like little parts, but yeah, she's only just done comedy really. What about you? Um, I guess if I had to choose, I I feel drawn to like um, this is gonna sound psychotic, but like uh, like cold blooded killers who just yes. like are dead in the eyes and in the face. I, I think I could do that, that very well. Mm. Yes. My eyes can just like you know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so do you have so a favorite about, movie about a killer? Mmm. Always. Like um, a role you would take if you could go back. Like, would that be fun to play? Mmm. Ooh, could I pitch one for please, Frankie? For please, please. Uh, I say let's remake No Country for Old Men, but with I Frankie and Javier Bardem. Yes, that was yes. so fun. Oh my god. I truly had that same. <laughs> oh, my god. oh, that's very good. I think yes. that'd be great. That's very good. Uh, Let's do, do let's, do let's, do let's do it. We could do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. We have to look up that thing about kissing, and then we'll yes. make yes. Yes. And, and then we we'll... have to make Katie's sketch, too. I love right. that. And we got to make the sketch. A lot, I'll of, my lot of sketch. action items from this podcast. <laughs> <Yes>. Deliverables, <laughs> et cetera. <laughs> okay, let's do the next one. That was a great question. Thank you for sending it mm-hmm. in. Um, Leon Sandstone asks, how much of the sketches are wish fulfillment versus what you think will entertain us? Ooh, <laughs> That's wow. so funny. Almost a burn, I'd say. Yeah, well, honestly, what's funny is, like, there's ones, like, Brennan specifically writes mm-hmm. where I'm like I can tell he just like thought this would be such a fun character to play oh, like sure. the, the barista witch one yeah yes. I was like yes. oh my god how fun he wrote a sketch where he gets to be this kooky character yeah. you know yeah. like that was one where I was like it's very smart yeah even the ones that I feel like seem luxurious like to shoot are probably not <laughs> like luxurious to actually shoot you mean like the hours in makeup that you have hours to do and all that yeah. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. yeah i i guess i i interpreted that question as like what do you like like uh do you guys pitch a sketch about skydiving just so you can go skydiving uh, or something like that yes, yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. how i interpreted there was a string of uh sketches where grant was just constantly getting like shit on <laughs> and just like falling and and i yes. think that wasn't his wish fulfillment, but like everyone else's just wanted to fuck with. Absolutely. That's really yeah, funny. Yeah. Yes. yeah. And like I'd, I'd say the how tall is Grant, like that yeah. stuff came from just maybe it's something that the audience wouldn't have noticed, but something that we wanted to talk about. Because mm-hmm. it is really funny watching Grant like have to like go yes. down and yeah. up. Yeah. And then like every time he is in a scene, he has to change his height. <laughs> it's very funny. <laughs> It's funny, too, because I feel like with wish fulfillment, you could be writing sketches where, like, you look great and everybody loves you. Mm-hmm. But as a comedian, your instinct is to write one. My wish fulfillment is to be shat on. Like, yes. my wish yeah. fulfillment oh. is, like, I'm Absolutely. the butt of the joke hardcore. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, no one wants to be the, like, straight man. You want to be yeah. the silly one, the weirdo. Mm-hmm. Totally. Mm-hmm. I, I think, like, as ugly as I can be in a sketch, that's, like, my <laughs> wish fulfillment. I <laughs> love that. Do you think, to the second part of this question, you think about what will entertain them? Like, are you thinking about about the audience or are you just writing from what you want to write yeah i think what i find funny other people might also find funny so i, I think i'm just like oh this idea makes me laugh i'm gonna write it totally. for sure mm-hmm. sometimes i yeah. will pitch an idea and if it's like do you guys even know what i'm talking about and if it's like no then it's it, i do go back to the drawing board of like mm-hmm. well this uh what i thought was a more universal moment <laughs> is not <laughs> it's like really just me yes, <laughs> Yeah. I, I pitched one time. Uh, <laughs> I was like, I hate that thing how like you go to funerals and everyone's like, <laughs> like over like really talking up the person that died. Like there's no way they were that good. And I was like, everyone's gonna agree with this, yes. and no that one is did. So funny. I agree with you on that. Yeah, I, I like yeah. that going, person yeah. wasn't that great. We yeah. all know this person. <laughs> that is they so kind of sucked. That's That's hilarious. Hilarious. Why are we talking like they were the greatest person who ever lived? That is so funny. Like yeah. in the writers' room, it's either like yes, oh my god, or like what? Why? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. Yes. definitely. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, um, what is your, if you could write a sketch that was like wish fulfillment, Ooh, yes. what would it be? Um, That's a great question. Thank I would get so plastic much. surgery. I would get, <laughs> I would get like a ton of plastic surgery. Yeah. 
Yeah, is no, there... I think I would do that too. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, we should. I don't support let's, this. One hundred percent. Let's write a sketch where we both get plastic surgery. You guys, it's gonna be greenlit, and I'm gonna have to do this. No. Well, I could just be the base reality. We walk into the office, and our faces are pumped full of Botox, and we look horrendous. Yeah. But it's like. We'll go from there. And we go, yeah. Janie, <laughs> did you get a new jacket? No, no nothing's no. new. Uh, I a new exactly how I <laughs> out of my cheeks. <laughs> a new scarf, <laughs> maybe? No. no. Okay, then. <laughs> uh, I would do like a really uh, like in-depth like action sequence. That would be oh, very yeah. cool. Oh, that'd be fun. And then I would also be like, I must... To, I, I cannot get a stunt double. I must learn. Then so yeah. take yeah, yeah, this, I must yeah. die for this. Yes, and be train like a real fight. That's cool. Yeah. And I would have to be. Oh, I'd love to train for months. Those people like. Yes. Oh yeah. yes. That. Oh my god. Train and become yes. a badass. Yeah. yeah. Oh yes. Like their muscles are it's different. Like they're just right. like they, the, they work together. But then once you're oh, that they buff, go you gotta away. Yeah. yeah, they go away. You That's the problem. Because yeah. once you've like felt I, it's not even just looks, it's like how strong you must feel when you walk down yeah. the street. Yes. Oh yes. I would miss it. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. I here's oh. here's a hot take is whenever there's like an article that's like, whoa, look at like blah blah blah's like training regimen and get yeah. ready for this yeah. movie role. It's like none of this is impressive. You're spending like thousands and thousands yeah, of dollars like with a personal trainer. Someone is monitoring you. Yes. Any of us could do that. Or any like, of the, us. The yeah. weight loss commercials where it's like, I lost such and such amount of weight on whatever, you know, diet mm -hmm. service. It's like this person you know has paid $12 million. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you paid me $12 yeah. million, I would do whatever Yeah, my body could amazing. look any way you yeah. want. Yeah. 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 I don't give a shit. Throw money at me. Maybe not. Who knows? Maybe someone could be like, oh, we'll give you a million dollars to like train for this movie and then I'm like, I don't. No, you would do it. would not do it. For a million dollars, I would do anything. Anything. <laughs> Uh, okay. are ready for the next one? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Wolf Mad six 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 asks, "What are y'all zodiac signs like? As much as you know, Sun, Moon, Rising, etc. How much time do we have? <laughs> Whoa, I can't sun, believe it. Aries, Moon, Aries Rising, Aries Venus too. Got a lot of fire in my chart. I feel it, but I'm also chill as hell. That I'm is Pisces, true. You I'm are chill. Yeah. You are chill. I'm I chill, but I there's a rage that I can't get rid of. Okay. Is that a Pisces thing? No, I think it's an Aries thing. An Aries thing. I don't really know much yeah. about astrology. Yeah. Aries. Mm. Wait, when, Me neither. When were you born? Uh, February 20th. February 20th. <gasps> okay. So February 15th. 15. 15. 15. Oh my God. Yeah, five days apart. Yeah. Wait, so are we the same or no? I don't know. You know, because you're, sign. you would, no, because I'm right at the beginning of Pisces. So you're, oh, Aquarius. you're right. You did oh, say Pisces. Oh, yeah. I did hear that. Aquarius. No. Ah, wow. When? Do you know what your risings are? I don't know. I have no idea. What is that, that based off of? That's based off of like what time you were born or like where you were born. There's a, oh. no one knows what time I was born. Yeah, I don't know what time I was born. I don't know what time I was born either. I don't know what time I was born. I'm not 30s. I needed to know this. And I like all of a sudden need to know. It, you have to. You all yes. have to text your parents and ask them what so, time you were born. It is on your birth about certificate. About me, my parents both passed away. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. And mm -hmm. it's like truly this thing that comes up all the time where I'm like, I wish I could know my birth time and I don't have anyone to ask. It's yes. like, it doesn't come up that often, but it's always like, man, I wish I knew my birth it's time. It's because it's yeah. not documented, it's right? It's not documented. It's not on your birth it's certificate. Crazy. It, it's crazy. It was on mine. Oh, oh what? Is? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I can find that then. Yeah, go to the courthouse of the city you were born. Ask for a copy uh, of your birth certificate. Go back to Chicago. You have to. a really important mission. You have to. Um, so you know you know your rising or falling sign. Yeah. Well, there's no falling sign. Oh, do this you, is my world. Do you believe you know, like, if you just know your generic sign, is that enough information? Or you think you really Yeah, I think more? so. Okay. Do you, and you know where you were born mm -hmm. and all that? Mm -hmm. That could also fill in some. There, like The time you were born gives you certain More things but like yeah. yes but as what's your as favorite sign like personality wise oh my god who are you compatible with oh, yeah. <gasps> oh guys um i guess <sighs> cancers no oh, uh, cancer. you're a cancer yes. okay great okay. great um i know that wow yeah i think yeah fellow pisces and i get along uh, my sister's a Virgo and we get along really well and someone once said and I don't know if this is true but it's because we're on opposite ends of the astrological like we yeah, both like right. equally oh. across so like just kind of like complementary colors yes yes Yes. Yeah, like Cancers and yeah. Capricorns are supposed to get along because yeah. they're on the opposite ends. Interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, mm -hmm. not uh, not Cancer and Aquarius? I don't know. We'll look it up. I think it's Aquarius because my brother's Cancer and I'm Aquarius. Oh, really? And you were yeah, we're a, oh. Oh. or you know what this means. Whoa. <laughs> 
Um, I feel like Virgos are very uh, meme heavy. They feel like they're memed a lot on Twitter and they're stuff. Meme heavy? They're, like, they're, they're, they're memes. memed as hell. Not, I'm not saying they love memes. I'm saying they're memed about a lot. Yeah. So maybe they are making memes, memes about themselves. Yeah. yeah. Wait, what are you again? I'm Aquarius. Aquarius. I'm not a Virgo, but I hear Vir about Virgos a lot. Yeah. In on Twitter. Virgos are very. I I don't. I can't speak like a expert. You do seem like you know quite a bit. I. <sighs> It's, but it's information what in my you, brain that truly does not need to be there. What do you do? Do you like do the what's that app? Uh, the Compass? No. Oh, CoStar. CoStar. Yeah, I yeah. do. And the pattern. Have you guys? Been the on pattern the is what I was the thinking. Pattern about. What's is, the pattern is is fucking insane. It's it's. I was just doing this with my roommates. Um, it'll. It's the same thing of like you know here's what your personality's like based uh -huh. on all of this, mm -hmm. and then you can like have friends on there and then it'll show you all of your friends personality traits and you can read into them and it is first of all shockingly accurate and also it's like <laughs> this things that I shouldn't know about my friends it's just like because they had a, a parent like this like they behave this way it's oh, truly man, insane that's cool that's interesting. That. That's yeah. such an insight into how to have empathy for people because you're, you know, whether or not it's even accurate, mm -hmm. it's like, oh yeah, I forget there's reasons why people are the way they are. Yeah. Yes. The yeah. stars. The stars. <laughs> the birth time. All right, cool. Should we move on? Yeah. We have a yeah. final question okay. from Dornybrook. Dornybrook. Can, I think. Can you talk about the evolution of college humor from what you remember watching or making mm. in the early days to the content you are making now? That's a great question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And let me ask you guys this one before we answer it. Um, were you guys like college humor fans before you started working here? Yes. Um, yeah. And this is a say we can be honest. No, yes. I, I mean, I definitely uh, have watched and or interacted with college humor content before mm -hmm. working here. It wasn't like, oh, what's college humor? Like, mm -hmm. even, yeah. and this is even before I had like some friends who were started working here too. Mm -hmm. I liked it. I, um, not, maybe not the first phase of college humor mm -hmm. but then when they started doing like sketches and stuff mm -hmm. that's when I first mm -hmm. like found it and yeah I loved comedy so if I was into any comedy I submitted a couple articles like a while ago mm -hmm. and I remember just thinking like I'm not sure this is my voice I'll do my best it just didn't feel like maybe the most natural fit and then I think it was a while later when I looked at the sketches and I was like oh yeah this is like sketch for everyone. I think mm -hmm. I'd had a perception of it as a bit more like, like college guy, go yes. street, yes. Yeah. Sis, like very specific. Mm -hmm. And then when I looked again, I was like, oh wait, it's not like that at all. Yeah, it's I very really inclusive. Yeah. Yeah. I was a huge fan of College Humor before. And I remember coming in for my interview as an intern and like Pat Castles was sitting at his desk <gasps> and I immediately just started sweating. I'm just like, oh. that is Pat Castles. Oh my uh, God. So wow. yeah. That's awesome. I was, um, yes. But it was cool. all, I was just so, I was also so scared as an intern to interact yes. with any of them wow. or talk to any of them because like in my mind they were like, I'd yeah. been watching them for so long. How long ago was that? Mm -hmm. uh, like four years ago. Wow. Yeah. 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 Mm. That's interesting. Days. Yeah, but I do, I have noticed, even just in the time that I've worked here, like the evolution of um, oh, yeah. college humor. It has yeah. So yeah. Oh my God, yeah. yeah. It's um, crazy. Yeah. What are A you lot guys? more voices. Mm -hmm. Yeah. More diverse voices, mm -hmm. not just the same thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. But I do think it's cool, like, right now, maybe, I don't know if this is right or not, but, like, in terms of just really good sketched comedy that you see online, and it's that's what the channel is, like, mm -hmm. I don't know if there's anything like college humor right now. No. Maybe I'm wrong, but yeah. it just feels, like, very true to, like, what sketch comedy is, yeah. and, you know, I think yeah. that's really cool. I also like, because in the beginning, they were just, like, like shooting it on not phones but like the equivalent of phones yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, just around their desks and the way not only has our comedy evolved but like the quality of our videos Absolutely. and our yes. commitment to quality that plus the, it, that's I guess that's why I've always liked working here it was just like we want to create things that are, you know, just evolving on both. On all yeah, that's yeah. so true. Yeah. yeah, it's not like there's TV sketch and and you know internet sketch. It does feel like yeah. it's the same level of commitment yeah. and quality. And all yeah, that. as like yeah. TV sketch. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You can find a find a better mm -hmm. channel. Tweet it. Tweet it at us. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The people who work here are so dare you. Do. Dare yeah. me. Yeah. Dare yeah. you. It's so funny. Yeah. yeah, the people who work here, like the makeup artists, the production mm -hmm. designers, I'm yeah. always yeah. blown away. Yeah, humor. Yeah, incredible. Wow. 
What? So wait, what? Four years ago, what? Uh, like, what was the level of quality for the production stuff? Um, I mean, it was the same. I don't want to throw shade at other uh, oh, production. No no, 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 of course not. No, it was still good. I just think that, um, like. We, you know, we used to shoot on like five Ds and seven Ds, yeah. and just like throw a light up. And um, I mean, it more went into it, but I think we have gotten better cameras. Mm -hmm. We um, have like folded. I mean, it's still like a, we don't spend a ton of money, but like our crews have. We've just gotten better crews Cruise. and stuff. Yeah. Um, and now, it, like even in like considering uh, like crew members we get, we consider like how good their work I, I, no, I'm yeah. not saying they didn't do that before but like now if we like have a DP yeah. that we want to work with we like right. look into it because we want it to look good and awesome yeah. you just get, as a company you just get better at doing yes, stuff yes, what you're good at yes yes that's cool um, that's cool yeah and I think also just, sorry I'm stop, I'll stop yes, talking I know I'm interesting oh, I'm sure the um, yeah. viewers would I also think that in the time that I've worked here there has been they're, they're more like streamlined, um, like our cast, like knowing like are the personality of like all of our cast and our writers. I mm -hmm. think like that mm -hmm. has really come out more in recently. Do you agree? Yes. Or disagree? Okay. Yeah. I started yeah. five and a half years ago, also yeah. as an intern. Yes. But yeah, I would definitely say, yeah. There. I mean, yeah. it's a totally different company mm -hmm. than when I started. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Yeah. Wow. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. So those are all the questions. All right. Be sure to submit yours yeah. on Discord yes. and uh, give us sure. feedback on these. And you can mm -hmm. chat with us on Discord too. Um, I guess that's that's it. That's, that's it. what we have. Uh, well, uh, from the College Humor Podcast. Uh, bye, everyone. Thank bye. You. Thank you. Bye. Hey, it's Teo. If you like College Humor and want to support us, sign up for Dropout. For the low price of a small bag of catnip, you'll get videos like this a whole week sooner. To chat with us live on the Dropout Discord and get exclusive content like Dimension 20. There are no stupid questions. Are you my freaking dad? <laughs> sign up for your free trial today, unless you hate fun, which if you do, come to my party on Saturday. It won't be fun at all.